we're going to the Hermitage village. The beginning of the settlement. Houses of wealthy people employed. Kind of so, the first settlers of this area. Moved here in 1984. So this, uh, this garage was a part of the store. H.C. Smith's store was in downtown St. Pete, 1970, and it worked as a general store. The garage is part of Pinellas County Pinmar Association, Antique Car Club. The three cars you see, this one doesn't run, it's a Model A, 1928, it's worth around 60 grand. This is Mr. Taylor's, he just donated this. You can come up and look, get some pictures if you want. Just be the passing out top. Convertible top. Painted a different color than the Model T. Henry Ford uh, started his business in 1898 and he built 10 million Model T cars and trucks. That's a Model TT, the 1925. Cost around $240. Uh, it changed America because Ford uh, did the production line. He, you know, he made it efficient. He paid his workers pretty big too. This one runs. This is a Model T. You gotta crank it up. Four cylinder, uh, you crank it, run in, set the magneto, which set the spark plug, and the thing would run. They overheated, they made a lot of noise, and the horses hated it. They were called tin lizzies, <laughs> uh, or a horseless carriage. But everything you see in here is original. Everything was donated Ford. to our club. Wow. Everything. Uh, Ford had two buddies, Goodyear, who did the tires, and uh, Thomas Edison, who invented the light bulb, did the uh, spark plugs. So these two work, the Model T and the, Mo and the Model, they run. I've been in this one. It's a rough ride. <laughs> it's a really rough ride, man. It's... And think about this, 100 years ago, gas was six cents, 
tires were eight dollars, a tune-up was five dollars, and you can actually work on your car. You see that glass box in there? Yeah. That's the kit. So you can actually work on your car. Now it's all computers. True. All, computers. all hey, digital. Yeah, all computers. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hate that. I hate how it goes like up and down. Oh, yeah. Like this is worth between like seven grand to 20 grand, depending on what we'll see. I don't know. They used to have rumble seats in the back, but they don't anymore. I mean, this one did, but they had rumble seats. You could actually sit in the back. Horseless. <laughs> yeah, horseless carriage. There's a lathe, old phone, still works. It goes to the barber shop. Look, the old phone. Yeah. So this wasn't really part of the store, and they moved the store here from downtown St. Pete, which is pretty neat. There's the fan belts. That big Daco, where it says Daco, that, that conveyor belt there, would go back to the truck, excuse me, I'm losing my voice, and they actually ship goods onto the truck. So they work harder, I mean smarter than harder. And that changed America because you can get goods now for horses put them in the truck to make it work. And the middle class can afford this. So it's a whole different era. This was the Tesla test of parts. Think about it. Yeah. And he invented his own car. That's exactly right. Well, yeah, he invented before He copied, actually, the, the meat. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, take, take some photos. You're lucky you came in early. It's not so hot. It'll get really hot. How do you like oh, Canada? This is a drinking water bag, Tima. Oh, drinking water. Good, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of Canadians in Florida. A lot of Canadians. What do you think this is? What's this? Don't guess it. How do you clean your rug? Just Back in the It's the old refrigerator. It's still working. Law and order. Everything at the top is real. The one you see there. That's all old cans for six cents. Six cents to ten cents. Hershey's chocolate. It's not a Pennsylvania. Yeah. 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 What do you think that silver uh, helmet is up there? Think of it as silver helmet. What do you think that is? And that's original too. That was me. Yeah. What'd you wear in the old days? Women and men. Um, is that? Uh, Excellent. Very good. A hat stretcher, very good. You take a, a hat stretcher, so it fits your head. That's how you would do it. And it's like, yeah, you can play it every once. That's a hat stretcher. And where else? Butter churner. Ice water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll show you the room in here. Exactly. They were really? very good, yes. Dennis, and they let, in those days, they did bloodletting, which supposedly helped out. And they pulled teeth, you're exactly right. That's how they did it. And what else? That's from Pastor Grove, the old post office, they have that. Uh, the mailboxes, they have all that. Oh, so there's like a type thing. That's right. That's your cash register. And that's a switchboard from the old Biltmore Hotel. It's no right or is this? Oh, type. When are you going back to Canada? Uh, did you fly Air Canada here? No, no. Where'd you fly? Delta. Oh, Delta? No, to Minneapolis. But to Minneapolis or never to Tampa? And then my car parked there and then we just 
drive to Thunder Bay. Oh, nice! Here. Yeah. You're up right over right now. Summer, dude, that's it. So yeah. make sure you go to the McMullen booth in the house, like two doors down. Mm -hmm. You walk around if you want, or if you're welcome, just go on the Nice talking to y'all. Good talking to you. Thank you. This is their school, guys. The roots of education are bitter, but the fruits are sweet, and it's true. YouTube. 